Okay, so as spoken of before in previous video, alrighty. So wiring up the wiper motor. Now you can choose any other motor you want to. There's other program for that. There's other coding for that. But this is how I've coded it up, and these are the components I used. Not this particular wiper motor, for instance, but runs on the same concept. There is a wire lead for the loop, and then there's a positive and negative. Along with that, there's an additional positive lead, which kicks the motor. We'll walk you through it a little bit. Uh, positive and negative runs down to this herky-jerky plug that I actually plug into the back of the box, which is connected to the motor in the box. Now I'm about to show it. Not even. I'll go through that yet another day. Uh, couldn't even again tell you which side is positive, which is negative, despite the fact I have a VOM meter I can use over here. But why am I going to go that far? No. All right. So, um, yes, you should use a VOM meter when figuring these things out. I don't. I don't care. Anyways, it'll only run one way. The park function will only run one way. Uh, any other wiring configuration. Otherwise, you're making the motor do other things than what you want it to do in the pop-up target. Now, it doesn't mean that that's really what you want it to do. You could choose to set up relay and other MOSFET and so on to make it do other things. As sure as people will take the same components that are in this uh, setup and make a drum machine, no reason in the world why it couldn't go the same direction and make this motor do different things in your pop-up target. Now, uh, for it to run its park function, one of these yellow leads, this particular yellow lead perhaps, one of them, one of these, one of these, is looped. The reason why I'm not going through the trouble of pulling that wire up and showing you, look, a loop, is because this won't be the same on all wiper motors. Wiper motors are set up for different vehicles and so on and so forth. Uh, they're set up differently because somebody decided that was a good idea. I wouldn't know why, but somebody did. Okay, so one of these is a loop, the other one's a positive, and the other one's a negative. Let's see if I can get a finger in here. Finger. Okay. One of these is a loop, the other one is a positive and negative. Okay. Now, do that up here. It is loosely connected, very loosely connected to the positive lead. You tag the chassis with it. Crazy thing. Chassis is connected to a negative ground, right? What the hell is up with that? I don't know. I really don't know. However, uh, I, I suppose maybe I'll explain it one day when I decide to open up the damn manual on a stupid wiper motor and try and figure it all out for you for every vehicle ever made. Okay, got that out of my system. I, I just don't know why it's so out of, all right. Um, try to turn this because it is very precarious and getting very hot for that matter. It's odd how it's actually getting warm right now. I don't understand. Maybe I have it wired up wrong. That's commonly a problem, wiring it up wrong. Try to set it up so it doesn't drop, ah, drop, drop, no. Oh. Guess there's no setting this thing up any special way. Trying now. Carious Wire Incorporated. This might actually work. Hold on. It's stuck. It welded itself to it. Alright. Damn it. One more time. Okay, park function. Okay, we get the whole thing in the video. Here we go. Tap of the wire, uh, positive lead. See? A little sparkage in the back. A 
slow motion right there. I don't know. But that's all you want right there. Little love tap and it's off. And that is where that tiny little uh, piece of code comes in. The minuscule momentary on. That's what you want out of your MOSFET. That's what you want your relay to do. A little momentary on. Kick it, it's time. Kick it, it's time. That's how it works. Kick it, it's time. Very nice. So, uh, loop, it, uh, it is oddly one of those things where it's just not the same on any motor, on any of them. You can figure it all out with a VOM meter, cracking it open, doing a bunch of dude on like that. You really, it's really hard to hurt these things. It is really hard to hurt them. There might be some of them that's a little bit, you know, sensitive, but super hard to hurt them. So your best bet is just get a little heavy wiring, some jumpers, and start tapping leads. And eventually you're going to find, find it. Really arced the heck out of that thing, didn't I? It was brand new. So... There it is. That's how your wiper motor works.